anyone play quarterback? I do! I can throw the ball really far with my snazzy trunk! Well, let's see it! Get in there, kid! And the crowd goes wild! Snoozer! 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 I respect him as a player. Oh, whoa, whoa, what about checkers? There's gotta be a place in the team for checkers somewhere. No, but then the receiver gets hurt. And then the coach puts checkers in. All right, what happens next? And then it's the last play of the game and the team needs to score a touchdown or they lose. Snoozer hikes the ball. Blue, 45, red, 69, red, 69, so hey! Snoozer, checkers is wide open in the end zone. He was Checkers, but then someone sees him and told everyone. Hey, Checkers is open in the end zone. Get him. <gasps> oh, no. So Snoozer had no choice but to run it in himself. What a play. Goodbye, touchdown. And Snoozer's team wins the championship. And Snoozer wins MVP. Checkers, MVP means most valuable player. Got it. Well, congratulations on another victory, Snoozer. Thanks, Checkers. It was a team effort. I'm hungry now. All right, what are you in the mood for? Hmm, I want to eat what football players eat. What do football players eat? Well, football players and athletes in general tend to eat pretty healthy, Snoozer, because when you eat healthy, you feel a lot better and you perform better in sports. So they eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yummy, yummy, yums. That sounds scrum delicious. Do we have any fruits and veggies? You know what? I think we just ran out. But I know a place we could go that has real fruit that grows on a tree. Where? I'm not going to tell you that yet, because that is the destination on today's Reading Road Trip. Check, check. All right, snoozer. Sending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Okay, time for your three hints, snoozer. Hint number one. It's outdoor. Hint number two. It's in a backyard. And hint number three. It is owned by your doctor. Hmm. Dr. Dan is my doctor. What's in his backyard? A pool? Dr. Dan has fruits and vegetables in his pool? No, snoozer. It's an apple tree. Dr. Dan has an apple tree in his backyard. Oh, boy. I did not know that. An apple tree? Hmm. No, no, snoozer. An apple tree is a tree that apples grow on. Let me show you. All fruits and vegetables are naturally occurring and grow out of the ground or in trees. Today, we're visiting a tree that has apples growing on it. Oh, I see. Let me pull up the map. We're not headed to Rainbow Way today. Instead, we're headed to Dr. Dan's yard. Along the way, we're going to do a craft with Mrs. Hamilton. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah, I'm sure we can check out a book today all about growing fruits and vegetables in our backyard. Hey, perfect timing! Here come the books! Let's check out a few. What was the button for my net? Oh, that one. What'd we get this time? Here you go, Snoozer. Eating the Alphabet, Fruits and Vegetables, from A to Z, by Lewis Elhert. And let's get gardening 
30 Easy Gardening Projects for Children by Radhiki Haswini. Nice. Eating the alphabet. Yeah, that's a fun one. Oh dear, Mrs. Hamilton taught me the alphabet, but I didn't know I was supposed to eat it. Hello, Chef. What's today's special? Today's special is the alphabet. Come on, boys, this way. Freedom! Hey, they're getting away. Someone get those letters. Oh dear, I'm not hungry anymore. No, no, snoozer. Eating the alphabet is just a fun way to combine fruits and vegetables with the alphabet. An easy way to remember it. Because there's so many fruits and vegetables that you can match one along with every letter of the alphabet. Oh, like A for apple. Yes, exactly like that, Snoozer. And this book does that all the way through the alphabet. It has a very simple artistic style, but it's very appealing. The book helps us learn the alphabet while teaching us about fruits and vegetables we may not even know about yet. We all know about apples and oranges, but not everybody knows about the currant berry. In the back of the book, there are more fruits and vegetables that match the letters. So this book is a nice collection of fruits and vegetables and a tool to help us remember the alphabet. It's great. Wowie! I'm going to read that book all by myself. And guess what, checkers? I'm going to eat all fruits and vegetables in the book in order. Well, there you go, snoozer. Now you've even made a game out of it. And now this book is also a shopping list. Well, now that fruit is on the menu, I think it would be a great time for us to make your fruit craft with Mrs. Hamilton. Okay, tutti fruity. All right, well, we're going back to B for banana and we are making a banana craft with your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton. Hi, Snoozer. Are you ready to make your banana? I hope so. So we need this sheet today. And the first step is gonna be to cut out all the pieces and then we're gonna need a glue stick. That's all we need today. So let's get cutting. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. So, let's see what we got here. Two eyes, a mouth. This is gonna be the tippy top, the part that peels the banana. And then these itty bitty black pieces are gonna go one at the top, one at the very bottom. All right, I got it set up. Let's glue it together. Well, that was easy as could be. This is what my banana looks like. How does yours look? Here's my banana. Oh my gosh, good enough to eat. Well, I'll see you next time, okay? Bye. If you would like to email Checkers and Snoozers, send your emails to checkers at checkerslibrarytv.com. We always look forward to hearing from you. Terrific, Snoozer. Oh, that banana looks really happy. Yes, his name is Banana Man. Banana Man! Where do bananas grow? Bananas are grown in very warm climates. That's why they're often associated with monkeys. But our next book is all about growing fruits and vegetables right from home. Let's get gardening. 30 Easy Gardening Projects for Children. This book is packed with cool stuff. It starts with some background information about being eco-friendly and the tools we need to get started. Then it jumps right into the action. The book has vibrant artwork and splendid images of all the fruits and vegetables being grown. It really gets the reader excited to get to work. The book also has information about what fruits and vegetables animals eat, and even insects who pollinate flowers. And that snoozer is just the tip of the iceberg. You check this book out thinking it's going to have some good instructions, and you get this giant book full of facts and fun. It's a great book to get you started to being an eco-friendly planter. Woohoo! I'm going to be a farmer! Farmer Snoozer! On my banana farm! Well, hey, Snoozer, maybe by reading this book, it will get you right along down that road. And hey, look! We've arrived at Dr. Dan's yard! All right, well, let's park down here and go visit Dr. Dan's apple tree. Dr. Dan! 
Man, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Snoozer. I'm just picking some apples. They're in season, you know. Snoozer and I are talking all about fruits and vegetables today, and I told them we could come visit your apple tree. Oh, well, I'm glad you did. I planted this apple tree a couple years ago, just hoping to get a few apples here and there. And then it blossomed into this giant apple tree and I get hundreds of apples every year. But that's great because as you know, I love apples. They are filled with vitamins, minerals, fiber, all kinds of great healthy stuff for our bodies, but they're also delicious. And you know the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Do you grow any other fruits and vegetables? Oh, absolutely. So right now it's the very beginning of fall. So I've been focusing primarily on my apples, but I also have some tomatoes, some cucumbers, and some squash planted towards the front of my house. Can we pick some apples? Definitely. Here, I'll get you started. Would you like an apple? <laughs> that tickles. By the power of snoozer, I will vacuum a lot of apples! Wow, those apples were delicious, Snoozer. Yeah, I want to plant an apple tree. And we really should be growing vegetables too. We should start a farm in an apple tree forest and- Whoa, whoa, slow down there, Snoozer. Maybe let's just start by planting some vegetables and see where that goes. Okay. And we have to read our two fruit and vegetable books too. And maybe more books. We'll have to head to the library and check out those books, Snoozer. And pretty soon, we're going to be going to a new place and learning about something entirely new on our next Reading Road Trip. <laughs>